Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the PSM Runtime 2.01 on the PS Vito after they've taken down the PSM Runtime from the Sony server for some reason. Um, this is going to be using PSP IMG tools, of course. Um, so, yeah. Uh, first thing you want to do is go in the description and download this .zip file. Really simple. Right, so I download this. And while it's downloading, I'll find the QCMA backups directory, which is in here, in QCMA settings, and then this one right here. Alright, I just want to open this up, this archive, and go extract. And then you want to head up here to your QCMA backups directory, and under extract, and then app. As you can see, I've already gotten here, but that's where you basically where you want to put it. And if I go extract, and you want to say yes, and bam. Alright, now I've got this folder in here. Now you have this folder, all you want to do is head over to um, your PSDIMG tools. And you want to run that. Alright, and um, in the future there will be an easy install for this, but right now it is not. So you just head over to Backup Manager, Sign and Pack, PlayStation Vita, uh, and you'll see PSM Runtime Package 0.01. Hit Sign and Pack, and select the user, click choose account. It'll, it's a very really small file, so it won't take you long. And then it'll just say, Pack and Compete, Refresh QCMA. Now I'll head up here, right click, and Refresh Database. Alright, now if you do that, my QCMA actually just crashed, so I'm just going to open it up again. Um, yeah. Alright, you do that, and it will put it in the actual file itself. And now all you need to do is go onto your Vito. So now on your Vito, just want to make sure this is plugged in. Alright, now you want to head over to Content Manager. Copy content. PC to the PS Vita. Applications, PS Vita. And then we'll scroll down till we see the um, one time. There it is. So we'll have a custom icon. It has view with a red thingy. It looks like the development system only is view and has a red thingy instead of a white one. Right, this one. Click copy. Now this is done copying, just hit the PS button and head over to settings. Head down to system PlayStation Mobile and it should now say 2.01. If you head over here to update, it should say the latest version is already installed. That is really that easy. It will even be an easy install in a future update of um runtimes and it will be even easier um but yeah that's about it for this video thank you all for watching goodbye